Well, police in Phoenix are hunting for a serial killer who detectives believe is responsible for at least seven deaths in the last four months. Two other victims were hurt. Investigators believe they're all connected by one or more gunmen. Carter Evans has more from Phoenix. But they walked clean to the front of it and looked through the windshield. And that's when they opened fire? That's when they opened fire. Darcy Ellis' daughter Stephanie and 12-year-old granddaughter Malia were shot and killed right here in his driveway in June, along with their friend Angela Leonard. 14 bullets in my daughter, 12 bullets in my granddaughter, 8 bullets in the other girl. That's 34 bullets. Since March, nine people have been shot within about a 50-square-mile area of Phoenix. Seven people died. Police released this sketch of a suspect, but not much else. It clearly meets the definition of a serial shooter. Is there seem to be any pattern with the victims? There is not. Right now, we have not determined a motive in any one of these eight incidents. Uh, we haven't found any relationship between our victims. Evidence points to the same shooter or shooters. Victims have been shot at night, many outside of their homes, with the killer using a handgun, arriving and departing in a sedan. This guy has to get off the street and pay for what he did. Nancy Pena lost her twin brother, Horacio. So you're still trying to cope with the loss of your brother, but at the same time, you're afraid this could happen to you. Yeah, they've uh, not only taken my, my twin brother, but they've taken my sense of security away. So they have many other victims along with just the ones that passed away. Stephanie Ellis's mother hopes justice for her daughter's killer will help her family move forward. Where do you go from here? <laughs> Who knows? I, t I really don't know. Well, Carter Evans is in Phoenix with the latest. Carter, investigators are essentially in a race against time. The shooters or shooters trying to track them down before another victim appears. What are detectives doing now to try and catch the killer? Well, right now they have increased staffing. They've got the FBI, the ATF working on this case as well. And they've put out a $30,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. That has helped. When they put out that award or raised that number, that's when they got that sketch info or the information that led to that composite sketch. So they are making some progress here. What's the mood like, Carter, in Phoenix? And what advice are police giving the people? People are concerned. Uh, I was at the scene of another shooting yesterday, not related to this one. We thought it might be, though, and that's why we went. And, and neighbors there were very concerned. That's what they were asking. Could this be another case of this serial shooter? In that case, it turned out not to be, but it gives you an idea of the concern that people are facing around here. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, Carter Evans, thank you very much for that report.